Just over half an hour's time. Uh, much has been made of Andy Murray's change of attitude on court. And one man who will know how that's come about is Roberto Forzoni, a sports performance consultant. And I think you've, um, you've worked with Andy, haven't you? Uh, how will he be keeping the, the stress out of his mind today? I mean, he, he obviously realised what a huge occasion this is. Hopefully he's not going to be reading any of the papers this morning. Yeah, it's a, ma it's a massive occasion for Andy, but uh, I think he's going to handle the stress a lot better than he has before. Don't forget this is his fourth slam final, and this is his home court. Not too many people are speaking about the home advantage he's going to get today. He's going to have 15,000 people plus 50 million rooting for him as well. But that, that, he's, that, he's that well raises himself. expectations, though, doesn't it? I mean, that could almost increase the stress, couldn't it? And, he, and he's used to the expectation now, and he's had expectation all his life, all his tennis career, especially since, since Tim Henman and Greg Rosetsky resigned. He's been the man in the focus of attention for the media. So he can handle that pressure. And what he's done this year, he's put himself in a bubble. He's, he's detached himself from the hype, from the media. When he gets home, he's not looking at the coverage. He's not reading the papers. And uh, you're seeing a new mature Andy Murray. So just describe what sort of routine he will have had this morning. Some of the papers are saying, you know, he'll get out of porridge and yogurt, and then a friend will drive him to Wimbledon in a, in a polo. I mean, is that is that the thing you would stress to him? Keep everything normal. Don't don't change your routine. He, he's got to keep it as normal as possible. He probably took the dogs for a walk this morning. He probably had his porridge, and I bet you he didn't read any newspaper as well. When you were helping him, I mean, he was in a particularly low point, wasn't he? I think he had a wrist injury. Just, just describe how, how you sort of tried to mould him or shape him or find his way psychologically. I think at, at, at the time I worked with Andy, uh, one of my big things was to create an environment for him and a team around him that would help him. Because I think Andy works better with that team and it's, and it's proved to be quite successful. And he relies on some trusted people around him and they're going to be guiding him today, protecting him from the hype and the media, and they're there for 100% support for Andy. In terms of the psychology of, sort of trying to intimidate your opponent, I, I think both these players share a dressing room, don't they? I mean, that must, be, that must make things very, very tricky indeed. Will there be any conversation? Are there, are there ways of provoking your challenger, do you think, or not? I think in terms of these two guys, they know each other really well, and they're not going to try and intimidate each other what they're both going to try and do is to stick to their own game plan. And it's, it's the guy today who keeps his emotional temperature in check. He keeps his emotions in check and sticks to his game plan and responds well to anything that happens is the guy that's going to come out on top. And we know Federer's uh, an expert at that. Andy, when, when he's on top of his game and his psychology is right, he's going to give uh, Federer a run for his money. Who's going to win? I'd say Andy. For sure. Really? Yeah, I think if he, if he keeps his emotions in check today, this is, this is Andy's day. He's waited a long time for this. As I said, it's his fourth final. He's beaten Federer before, not in a slam final, as everyone keeps saying, but I think the momentum today, he's got the momentum, he's got people behind him, and with the support of people on centre court, I'd go for Andy today. I think this is going to be his day. First slam of many. It would be fantastic. Roberto Fultzoni, thank you very much indeed uh, for joining us and uh, enjoy the final. Lucky thing.